Welcome back to Lion Lunch Hour. I am blessed to have three amazingly talented chefs in our kitchen. They've all teamed up on a project for Grilling TV on YouTube. We're going to learn a little bit about that coming up later in the show. But first, Pat Neal, you are kicking things off, Chef Pat, yes. with these mashed potatoes. Yes. You know what's really cool about these is they're garlic mashed potatoes. I love garlic mashed so potatoes. So I use red potatoes mm -hmm. because the presentation and everything is just amazing. So I roast the garlic. And how you roast the garlic is you simply cut the head off drizzle it with olive oil. A lot of people don't, they don't put salt and pepper on it, so I put a little salt and pepper on. Once, and so now I'm making my, um, the, the, the uh, milk sauce. So I start with butter. That's I'm gonna a add nice a little, and butter. instead of milk, uh -huh. we're using heavy cream. Oh, that looks so good. So we're going with some heavy cream. We incorporate that, get, get it all going. The potatoes have already been boiled and drained, so they're nice and soft. And what you're looking for in a good potato is you don't want them mushy no. because we're going to mash them, but look how soft they are. So about how long do you want to boil them before you check them? It depends on the, the amount, but I would say about 20 minutes, okay. 20 to 30 minutes. And then if they start to cook you know, a little faster, you can always adjust. One of the things about cooking is adjusting your temperature. So see how they just mash? So they're going to be real easy. Once my sauce comes to a, a boil and becomes warm and all of my butter is melted. Then we take our garlic. That garlic is such a good home yes. chef hack because yes. I'm going to do that next time I make mashed yes. potatoes. Yes, and what you do is after it's been in the foil, uh huh. So you take it and you turn it upside down. And my hands are just used to heat. I was going to say, oh, yeah. that looks like I would eat that whole clove of garlic. Yeah. It's so. And you just good. squeeze it out, and all of the garlic goes right in. And you mash them all together just like you that. You mash it all together, and you want to make sure it's really mashed. I had a few that was just out here hanging out. Add them to the party. And you know, yeah. I read in your notes a really good home chef hack you had was mm -hmm. make sure the potatoes are all the same size. Yes. So they cook evenly. Yes, yes. Because if you have them different sizes, then they don't they don't cook evenly. You got some that are done and some that are not. All of oh, these so were good. quartered. And so it's great and it's a great way to turn up your potatoes. For uh, sure. As opposed to just regular mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna top it off. We're gonna we're gonna put a little uh, jury on it later when we put it over there we'll on the plate table. It up to go oh yeah. So with all we have to do now is just wait for this um, cream sauce to just really all incorporate with the butter. Take that in, salt and pepper, and just like that is done. And how do you avoid getting lumpy mashed potatoes? How do you mix them so they're nice and smooth? What I really like to do is have a masher and mm -hmm. really mash them really good like by all hand. together. Yeah. Yes, and then afterwards, if you really Really want them to whip. Get you a nice whisk and Ooh. whisk them, which is what I'll do later, so that they're smooth in their country. Better but, than the electric mixer, right? Yes. And then the, the lastly, but leastly, is always keep you some extra heavy cream mm -hmm. because if the potatoes are a little thick, then what we want to do is add a little more cream. And that adds a little love to them, yes. making that oh, smooth yes. oh, consistency. Yes. So we're just about there now. So all we'll do is we'll mm -hmm. take. We'll take our heavy cream. And I'm learning to be generous with the butter anytime you want oh, really good yes. tasting food. Especially with especially with potatoes. Yeah. You can't you can't go wrong with butter. I mean, we'll exercise after we have us a, a plate of I'm potatoes. I'm not worried about calories when someone's right. serving me up a good meal. 